Welcome back everybody. It's Kevin from Project Laser in Western Australia and today I'm going to show you guys a job we did where we cleaned a 5 meter girth gear. So this is a gear that turns a ball mill crusher on a mine somewhere in the in the gold fields. So we've got to clean the corrosion and the anti-corrosion coating off of the flange face as well as on the teeth of the gear. Um, yeah, so the gear was 5 meters across, 900 mils deep and on the top there was relatively bad corrosion and on the bottom there was a fair bit of scale corrosion as it was, I believe, sitting outside for quite a while. So some of the teeth were relatively clean, such as these ones, not much corrosion on it. And then other ones, in contrast, had a lot of corrosion on it, so they took far longer to clean, as you can see here. Probably 75% of the face looked like this. So the first order of the day is just to protect the paint. And to do that, you can use blue masking tape or you can use aluminium tape. So aluminium tape is better. It reflects up to 98% of infrared light. But for what we need to do on this job, we can just use the blue masking tape and then the laser passes over that just reflects off the surface. So here we've got a nice clean bit of steel that we cleaned. So they'd previously pressure washed the, the anti-corrosion coating off the face and we just had to use the laser as a final prep. When we did our demonstration, we cleaned a little piece of the girth gear that was as clean as what you're seeing right now. Unfortunately for us, about 75 to the was bad to it. So it took a lot longer to clean than we thought and than we quoted for. But at the end of the day, the customer was happy. So here you can see me doing a bit that was relatively bad, so the cleaning speed is quite slow. Drop a comment down below if there's anything you want to see regarding laser cleaning, how I set up, what equipment I use, uh, anything like that, or if you just want to see any different types of shots, let me let me know and I will do my best to follow through with those. Picking the right parameters is always uh, a tricky situation. Laser cleaning is much like cooking, you kind of get the feel for it over time. So you've got to adjust the pulse width, the frequency, um, your power, your overlap, your beam size, um, your focal distance as well as extraction all has to come into play to get a nice clean surface. Add Callum in for a day of training as well as just help me with the extractions. When you're cleaning certain surfaces, you need really good extraction to make the process quicker and more efficient. Um, so he was holding the vacuum hose, I was laser cleaning. Here's a nice comparison between the clean surface and the corroded part. So when I was cleaning underneath, I didn't need a vacuum hose because the release particles would basically come off the surface and then hit the floor. This job turned out to be a really good lesson in the importance of extraction as well as the importance of working at certain angles to get a desired effect as well as a, a better level of cleanliness. So since that day I've taken the tools and the ideas that I've learned and I've really put them into action. So although it was cramped and uncomfortable, the cleaning was far better and um, I learned a lot on this job, I really did. Those of you who made it this far, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please 
please hit me up and ask them. Otherwise, hit a like and subscribe. That'd be fantastic. Uh, till the next one. See you soon.